all right hi guys welcome to my channel it's been a while i know lost my creativity but i'm back again wearable eye look today as you can see um just really focusing on some brown shades with a bit of shimmer on the lid interested to see how to create this makeup look then just keep watching centered this is a new way of starting a video i know but it's really great when you have the right sort of skincare for your skin and the skincare that I want at the moment, I won't be able to get until next month. So I am just using what I have at the moment. And believe it or not, I think it's great wearing one of these. Have you wore no strip? They're deep cleansing pore strips. I think they're pretty brilliant. In fact, I haven't used them for ages. I just um, noticed them. As you know, I'm moving house, so... I was going through a lot of bits and pieces and came across these and I thought oh my goodness I should definitely review these and tell you guys how they are. 15 minutes I put it on a timer and I know that for a fact that it does remove you know all that sort of oil and stuff underneath my nose because I used it a couple of days ago as well. And um, I've forgotten how amazing it is when you take off the strip. It's like a massive relief getting rid of all those horrible pimples and things like that. Even stuff that you can't see. I mean, you can see blackheads. But, you know, the stuff that's really deep inside. And I guess the other reason why I was really keen to do it was because I had a horrible um, blind spot on my nose. And you know what they're like? Every time you accidentally touch it or knock it, it hurts so much. So I knew for a fact that I had to wear this. Anyway, um, we'll get straight into the video once I have put this on and I feel more relieved. But definitely, if you can find this at one of your local um, shops, so say something like Coles in the beauty slash oh, what do you call it beauty slash medical section you know when you get um all of that beauty perfume hygiene stuff this is where you'll find it all right so i removed my nose strip and i don't know if you can see on camera it's really gross like i don't really like showing this off but I'm just giving you an idea of it really does um, take off the pimples that you have underneath the skin that you may not have noticed before. So for me, that's pretty important. Um, yes, I've already gone ahead and done most of my makeup. I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow so I can show you what palette I'm using for that. Um, before I do, however, I just wanted to talk to you just a little bit more about the nose strip. So... Um, when I applied it, I made sure my nose was wet and I made sure my fingers were dry because if your fingers are wet, then it's really hard to stick the piece of um, strip on your nose. And I must admit that when, um, just now, when I was filming, I realized that it wasn't quite stuck onto my nose, so I had to fix it up after I filmed. Um, yeah, mistakes that we make, right? Um, and then on top of that, you make sure you leave um, your strip on for at least 15 minutes. Like, give it time to get hard on your nose. And it does. You actually feel the strip from being really um, lightweight to being very heavy and sucking up, um, absorbing all that oil and nasty stuff from your nose. Um, and, yeah, it says here, let dry for about 10 to 15 minutes until stiff to the touch. Um, and then you slowly peel it off like you're getting off a band-aid, but let's be honest, in this case, um, you probably want to take your time to rip it off. So maybe that wasn't the best metaphor, but you know what I'm saying. Um, you take your time to take it off and then you can notice what needs to be done about your nose and how often you want to apply it. So as I said, the palette I'm going to use today is the Aphrodite Goddess of Love and Beauty Eyeshadow Collection. These shades are to die for. They are just, there's so much range of colour. It's a big palette, so if you're thinking of something that you want to take and travel with, I would probably not advise this palette. 
Oh yes, I've already primed my eyes, silly me, I forgot to tell you that. And I did a quick eyebrow routine. I used to spend ages on my eyebrows and now um, I use a product that is really quick and easy. So, by the way, this video is not sponsored. Um, I use Garnet Shadow Sense as my eyebrow applicator. Just slightly underneath my crease there is something really spectacular about creating makeup tutorials it's relaxing but you also know that there are people out there that you can help support and you know you can be supported by others who are brilliant at it so that one Now that's just it, like every video you see they always teach you whether or not your eye will be better, you know, making circular um, motions or windscreen wiper, that's really up to you to decide how heavy you want it, how light you want it, I think that's something that you have to choose for yourself. Because of your eye shape you are the best person who knows what's going to work for it and yes it may need a little bit more blending but then you know that you're going to go out looking really glamorous and why not you know take a bit of time to look a little bit glamorous I didn't see anything wrong with that makes sense what I'm saying and then I'm just going to place that on the lid and it's beautiful isn't it it definitely makes you feel like a goddess putting these colors on your eyelid it's just oh, so beautiful all right I love Chi Chi palettes I have quite a few they're definitely my um they're definitely my favorite palettes as a group I mean if I was to choose which place I would get loads of palettes from it would definitely be Chi Chi and they work out I mean makes me feel so much more alive when I have a wing that's what I think that's just my opinion <laughs> all right so using my eyelash curler we know the importance of that and then yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use my Black Lash Sense Mascara to the shadow colour under my brow bone because I realised that I've forgotten to do that. I get so into this that I forget to add a brow bone colour. And I don't know where that brush is that I used for that. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. Yep. <laughs> So I'm just going to use one of my highlighters. I'm not going to show it because it's very broken. Um, so I'm going to leave it where it is. But you can tell from the way I'm applying it that it is definitely a white shade with a bit of pink undertone. Very, very soft and subtle. Um, but And it is a highlighter. It's not a, an eyeshadow. So it just sort of lifts your brow bone up a little bit, making it look, um, making you look more wide awake and yeah, just separating that eyeshadow from the eyebrows. That's what I'm trying to say. Not coming out right, but that's what I'm working on now. And of course you don't want to have to deal with that because that really is painful. Um, I find that cutting about three or four strands at the back is way, my way to go. But get rid of that really small bit but the longer pieces and then I would just stick it on this side but of course that's not the I am sorting out right now um, but yeah same on this lash as well you've got the part that's sticking out the front you don't want to deal with that because that hurts trust me I've been poked that many times by that and it's worse when you go out because you really want to look nice and then this thing is irritating your eye and then you take it off because you're trying to 
you know stop the itching of your eye or the irritation or whatever it is and then you know it makes a mark on your eyeliner showing that you know you used to have something glued there but it's not there anymore and it looks really weird so anyway I use Lash Studio because I find that's a very strong glue used to use different kinds especially some of my lashes came with glue um, glue sticks glue glue bottles whatever you want to call them glue tubes um, I just find that this has always been very strong oh we've got one lash coming out it's quite a thick glue dries clear thank goodness I've had some in the past that have dried blue <laughs> hey look if it's if it's long lasting I guess it doesn't matter too much but then you've got to go ahead and you know fix it up and all that actually in saying that though this dries white so I do sometimes have to apply something over the top so I usually dry that for about 30 seconds I am back so I'm going to show you what lip color I will use today because I'm pretty sure that's everything on my makeup routine. How bad is that? I can't even remember what I did or what I'm doing. So I thought Plum Pretty Lip Sense would be fantastic for this combination. So I'm going to use that. So you've got to shake it out so you distribute the um, uh, product evenly. Otherwise it's going to get on your lips in a mess. So there'll be like clumpy bits and thin bits and you just want it to go on in an even layer. So once you've shaken it out and you feel like it's done its job, <laughs> that's when you can apply your lip sense three times. So starting with the doe foot side, I'm going to apply at the bottom. Let it dry in between. My lips are dry, so it doesn't take too long for me to let them dry. And then one more layer. Alright, so just let that dry, put some gloss on, and that's it. Alright, so this is the final look. I decided to use Plum Pretty Lip Scents and I think it was a gold glitter gloss um, to go on top. And what was really fabulous was that I just had some lunch and... <clears throat> it didn't come off which is really cool so if anything you can just see let's see if I can do this you'll just be able to see the glitter nothing else so I love that um, about these lip sensors and yeah I mean I'm trying to get back on track I'm trying to keep recording um, and keep up with my creative <laughs> Sorry, um, my creativity. The one thing I was going to say was completely went out of my head. Um, yeah, so this is what I would call a wearable eye look. Um, nice and simple with that big palette, of course, which has a range of colors to choose from. Um, but, you know, using three different colors can really help make you look a lot more glamorous even if it's just to go to the shops so whatever you want to wear or look like then it will suit you so thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye bye now